So as you can see, this is the actual pad layout. And I'm going to um, speak over, voice over the actual pads, the notes, if you don't actually see them. You know, this way your actual NPC can be used as a um, keyboard or your MPD or your MV, whatever you have that has 16 pads, you know. And um, this actually has supposed to be for a keyboard. I was always wanting to know this, and thank God I stumbled across this video. Like um, the intro shows you where I initially saw the actual layout for this um, actual video. I get props where props is due. I'm all about, um, on this channel right here, it's all about me creating, and that's about it. You know, um, beat tips for any fellow beat makers, producers, whether you're a newbie, whether you're an amateur, whether you are a pro. Um, that's what it's all about, the sharing the knowledge and information. And um, that's what the channel is all about. So I'm just going to show y'all, you know. We always be wondering where we have the um, actual C to start from, like we're playing the keyboard. So C, right here. The scale, C, D, E, F, G, A, B, E, C. And as you can see, I got A, B flat, B, C, D flat, D, E flat, E, F, G flat, G, A flat, A, B, B flat, B, and back to C. And show this right here. Um, this right here is um, how the keyboard actually does like C, D, E, E, L, G, G, A, B, C. And that's one octave, you know. And um, the possibilities are really endless. And I love this because this method is great. And also, this is so brilliant because you don't have to go to chromatic and use one note to make an actual program that would suck because you don't want to have like different sounds in the same program. You will have only that one note in a program. And how could you make actual tracks when you got just one note in a program instead of different sounds for me, you know? I don't like that. So I got it on my actual um I took it off my had it I had it on um excuse me, well I had it on note variation. That's what I had it on. But um, right now, in my 16 levels for MPC 2000 XL users, um, so I'm about to turn this off. I put it back on velocity just to show you something right here right now. That's my kick, my snare, hi hat, and that was the actual sound that I um had in the actual um note. Variation, and that's a horn, and that's some strings, and that's the bass that I um put down to um show you. Bass and frequency, I put it to twenty on all MPC two thousand XL users, and um I put my re re resin on ten. That's a tip I learned off the internet a long time ago, and um this is my new channel, and yeah you know it's great. Just learn different techniques. That's what I'm here for on this channel right here. I have another channel previously. You can see um, sample vinyl based beats if that's what you want to watch. But this right here is for educational purposes only for everybody trying to make it to the next level. If you don't, um, if you can take your own sounds and you can make your own tracks. That's what it's all about, you know. Um, just learning and progressing. Yeah. Um, this is my first video. I'm not going to talk too long, but yeah, peace to everyone out there in the world trying to um just make music and create. Also, one more thing before I go. If you don't have the money to buy actual keyboard, because I have actual sound module, that's where I'm getting sounds from, from, you can actually um like go on eBay and get like an actual kit for like maybe five bucks instead of like investing like a keyboard that might cost like a hundred dollars or maybe 120 or if you can't find nothing cheap off of Craigslist or um, offer up locally, you know, um, because they might already have the actual um, notes listed for you. But um, peace to everybody. Peace.